Hello everyone and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XRP. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about XRP a little bit. We're going to talk about other things as well. I had all this stuff together for one XRP video, but there was just so much I split it into two. Treasury Secretary says sanctions could hurt the U.S. dollar. So amidst the talk of the BRICS nations developing an alternative currency, U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen has stated that the sanctions on countries like Russia could hurt the U.S. dollar. Moreover, international trade has been adamant in its pursuit of an alternative standard currency to the greenback. Now, if she's just waking up to this, we are in a lot of trouble in this country. I was talking about this all the way back in June of last year. I was saying the BRICS countries are going to break away from the U.S. dollar more and more as time goes on. Her just figuring this out is kind of scary. Warren Buffett says nobody will lose money on a deposit in a U.S. bank. Now, I feel that Warren Buffett is trying to make people trust in the bank again. People that don't know any better. Remember, he met with the White House to talk about the collapse of the banks. And I believe now he's on a campaign to earn people's trust back. Warren Buffett warns against buying cryptocurrencies with borrowed money as this could be detrimental to one's financial future. At the same time, he wants to keep new investors away from crypto. He wants to get the weak hands out of crypto as well and get that money back in the banks. That's what this is all about. XRP lawyer recalls Gary Gensler video on crypto panic among banks. So attorney John Deaton, who represents over 76,000 XRP token holders in the ongoing Ripple lawsuit against the SEC, has long been arguing that the big Wall Street banks want to get hold of some share in the crypto market. And this is why the likes of the SEC are dragging the regulation part. In a latest, he shared a video from 2018 wherein U.S. investor Tim Draper is seen saying to Chair Gary Gensler that the banks were in panic about the rise of cryptocurrency market. You can hear the bankers panicking right now and unite to say we are not letting this happen. The panic, in the words of Draper, is about crypto's disruptive potential and that incumbents would sue expert media pressure and leverage government regulators to slow its progress. Deaton opined that it's all about protecting incumbents, the banks. That's why the case is still going on against Ripple. The SEC is trying to delay everything as long as they possibly can. That's why this whole anti-crypto campaign is going on as well. Because the banks want to stay relevant and they want to slow down crypto's progress along the way. Never disappoints. Jim Cramer says bank stocks could be the new market leaders. At a time that when deposits at U.S. commercial banks are collapsing at a rate not seen in over 50 years. The money's no longer going in the bank. People are waking up. They don't want to put their money in the bank. The bank is not going to ever make anyone rich. People are looking for ways to invest now. Why? Because inflation is high. They want to invest, make as much money as they possibly can to offset inflation at the same time. Hong Kong continues warming up to the idea of becoming a crypto hub, and Chinese state-affiliated banks have joined in onboarding crypto companies despite the ban in mainland China. Now, I feel every country out there right now has a great opportunity in front of them. Think about it. Innovation is leaving the U.S. at an alarming rate. Any country that welcomes that innovation can actually boost their economy. And if the U.S. doesn't wake up soon, we are totally screwed because as that innovation leaves, what are we going to be left with? The SEC has apparently issued a Wells notice to Bittrex for failing to register as an exchange, broker, dealer, and clearinghouse, exiling Bittrex offshore. The same charges that the SEC filed against Beeksy. Are you listening, Coinbase? In my honest opinion, you are next. Now, I feel there's a dark agenda going on here as well. You see Gary going after all the exchanges. One thing I picked up along the way is Gary and Elizabeth Warren both talk about KYC. Know your customer. I've heard them mention it multiple times. 
Australia Post Digital ID allows cryptocurrency exchanges to fast track KYC verification. Now, this is a time where we're crypto investors, so we are always buying more crypto. At some point, we're also going to want to sell some of our crypto. And when you go to an exchange now, they ask for driver's license and they want to verify your address most of the time. But what if they require a digital ID in the future? Would you get a digital ID to sell your crypto? Do you feel that this is pushing in that direction? Put it in the comment section down below because that's my theory. I feel that most people don't want a digital ID, but most people in crypto would get it so they could cash out their crypto at the same time. And this is happening right before a CBDC as well. World Economic Forum explores blockchain-based digital ID. And I still feel that the World Economic Forum is tied up in this as well. Think about it. We know that the fall of FTX was tied to the World Economic Forum. I believe that happened so they could fast track crypto regulations and fast track other regulations as well. This way they could also fast track a CBDC at some point. I still feel that that's why everything is happening right now before FedLive goes live in July. As Ripple versus SEC verdict nears, $1 XRP price looks nigh following launch of Ripple's liquidity hub. So on April 13th, Ripple Labs announced the launch of its liquidity hub, a new business-to-business -business crypto liquidity platform designed for enterprise-level use. According to the firm, the new hub aims to provide global access to digital asset payout rails from various market makers. But XRP is not even tied into this. I believe XRP is going to get to a dollar based off of growth on the XRP ledger, on-demand liquidity corridors opening up and going live throughout the world. That's what's going to push the price of XRP. And I still feel that a lot of money is going to flow in once we hit a dollar. You're going to see more FOMO money like never before. CFTC's classification of Bitcoin and Ethereum as commodities in Deutsche Bank litigation, a turning point for Ripple's XRP versus SEC case. You know, there's always more and more information coming out around that case that strengthens the case for Ripple. I still feel the case is a sham. As I just mentioned before, you know, Gary's purpose is one thing, delay crypto. Hold it back any way you possibly can. At some point, though, this judge is going to come out and give a ruling. I still feel she's going to rule in favor of Ripple and wrap this case right up. Retail investors fire Gary Gensler as SEC chairman for obstruction of justice. And there's another petition going around as well. It already has 31,751 signatures. All of you should go out and sign this no matter what. And tomorrow is a very big day. Well, actually today, SEC Chair Gary Gensler will be in the hot seat on Tuesday. The star witness before the full U.S. House Committee on Financial Services on the topic of oversight. Now, I feel that they're really going to grill him about Sam Bankman-Fried. They might grill him around the George Soros incidents also. You know, things that were going on behind closed doors, the secret phone calls. I feel this could turn into something much bigger. I also feel like they're going to fire Gary at some point. But again, it looks very good. Things that are said in, in, at this meeting can actually push the price of XRP as well. We'll have to wait and see what happens. But I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you watching my videos. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.